Welcome to the Big Easy IG Tour Champs for 2021, hosted here at Centurion Country Club. All years hard work playing golf has culminated in these finals and the lives of 12 individuals will change today where they will attain their praying privileges on the Sunshine Tour for 2022. Here we have Gerard Pepler getting ready to start his final round. One of the longer hitters on tour had opening rounds of 67-68 hoping to get his final round off to a good start. It's a nice par 5 to start with. It's what the long hitters like. Aiming it down the right. Seems to have hung on that to that a little bit. Uh, not too shabby, he's just missed it to the left in the semi-rough. Still be able to attack the green from there with his strength and distance. Dylan Cock, after rounds of 68-66, currently three shots behind the leader. Also can get them out there with the driver. Stayed on, down on that very nicely. Just down the left side also, missing the fairway slightly to the left. Fortunately that one settled down a bit. Might have a bit of trouble getting to the green in two. Our last player in this uh, second to last pairing, Christian Burke. Still got his amateur status. One of the top golf RSA players. Very solid young man. Opening rounds, 69-65. Wants to get off to a fast start. Starting that at the bunker, drawing it back to the middle of the fairway. Sure he'll be very happy with that start. Chris Young getting ready to play his third shot. This is for Eagle. Lofted it up there, letting it run out. Oh, he's judged the pace perfectly. Should have an easy tap in for Birdie. All right, on the tee now we have Keelan Favay currently tied for second and 10 under. He's a regular contender on the IGT tour. Also just missing the fairway, slightly to the left. Most of the players trying to avoid the big bunker down the right on this opening par 5. Man who needs no introduction, Carl McClatchy. He's uh, got a couple of wins under his belt. Played on the Sunshine Tour before. Also one shot out the lead. He likes to work his tee shot a little bit left to right. Slight fade. And that looks perfect. We'll be happy with that. Our tournament leader at the moment, Bradley Diggerton, with rounds of 64, 67, currently 11 under, one shot lead. Hunting his first win as a professional, hoping he can keep it together today. It's not easy on any tour. Just stood out up at the bit left, at the bit right. Seems to have caught the trap. Might even be just right of the trap. Second hole is a bar four, 465 meters, dog leg to the right. Christian, after his uh, tap in birdie, the previous hole, opting to use the driver. He's playing partners like that. He split the center of the fairway. Gerard opting to take an iron. This boy is strong. He'll get that iron out where a lot of people won't get their woods. Held on to it a little bit. That's going to make for a very tough second to this bar four. Bradley now. Little chip over the bunker. He's third at the bar five. Our leader hoping to knock this close. He's judged that superbly. Great opportunity for a birdie. Gerard chipping for birdie. Throwing that one up in the air. Catches the down slope. Excellent chip. Great control of the club face through that ball. Burke now with a tricky little putt from the fringe to save par.
well, would have been disappointed not making a par from the centre of the fairway. Kyle the first, hoping to get up and down out the bunker. Seemed to catch it a little bit heavy, but left himself an uphill birdie putt. Now this is the par four, fourth downhill par four, playing at approximately 455 meters. Dog legs quite sharply to the left, and the green is raised. Can't miss it right, got a road, and there's out of bounds on the left hand side. Imperative to hit your tee shot into the fairway here. Well bunkered as well. Dylan taking on the corner, gonna fly it over the out of bounds. He's held on to that, unfortunately. That could be trouble. Kyle, off to a steady start. As per his stock shot, trying to bring it in a little bit left to right. Just run through a little bit. Not too much problems there. Good distance control. Dylan, unfortunately, have to, to tee off again. This time, opting for the iron. Low punch running shot. Carl now for par. Fortunately that one coming up short. A bogey four for him. Bradley Deegan off to a good start, one under through three, as well as Hendler. Van Felsen, Wasserford, Frenemann also a couple under. Fortunately, Christian Burke, only one birdie so far. A couple of the boys over, over par. Bung not having his best round today, early days yet. The fifth, a little downhill path for quite a bit of elevation to this hole. Very reachable for these guys. You want to get close at least. Just have to be wary of the underbounds down the right. Dylan now, the tricky little bunker shot. Not much green to work with. He's executed that exceptionally well. Come on, go in. Oh, what a lovely attempt. And back on the tee box of the fifth. Our leader now. Starting that just right of the center of the fairway, bringing it back nicely. Perfect tee shot. Kyle also opting to take the driver. Hung on to that a bit. Luckily off the second all runs parallel to this. Should be okay. Keelan is going to take it over the trees. Straight at the green. Struck that very nicely. Fortunately finding the left hand rough. Dylan after just missing the green left with his tee shot. Chipping for eagle on the short bar four. One running out a little bit. Nice positive shot. About 15 feet left for his birdie. Nice confident stroke in the center. Magnificent putt. You'll be happy with that. Killing out chipping for Eagle. Bit off the back foot. Come in low and run it. Oh, so close. Within a couple of inches, he'll tap that in for an easy birdie. Here we have Yuban Young on the 17th. Currently two under for his round today. On the spot three. Electing to use the full width of the tee box. Standing outside the tee markers, which is fine as long as the ball is within the teeing ground. 
just a bit long and left. Very long birdie putt that. Gil now with his D shot at nine. The fairway wood. It's a drivable par four. Oh, he came up and out of that too quickly. Seems to have lost it a bit to the right. Oh, he's found the bunker to the right of the green. Bradley now. Also with the fairway wood. That one he seems to hit straight at the green. Good position coming up just short. Leave him a little chip. Jonathan Washerford started the day at 5 under. Currently 4 under for his round. Solid round of golf going. Nicely through that ball. Just below and left of the hole with a birdie opportunity. All right, getting to start of the back nine, Christian Burke here at the 10th, one under for the day. Doesn't know what he did there, seems to have blocked it way right. Uh, not too much trouble over there, still have a shot to the green. Gerard Pepler still level for the day. Gets through that ball nicely, generates massive club head speed. That's why it's ball so far. Makes this uphill par four look like a long par three. That's perfect tee shot. Reynard Blau started the day at four under, currently three under for his round. Seems to like that. And why wouldn't he? What a lovely tee shot. Great opportunity for a birdie. All right, Pepler, over his birdie putt. A little bit of a slider. Knocks that one in, very happy. Eventually one went in. Nice birdie. I know a lot of players would never get back up from that stance. One-legged, one-handed push-up, fit young man. Making sure you can see the line from that position. See the concentration in the face. All these putts are so important for these young players. Always get themselves settled nicely in behind the ball. Good stroke. Unfortunately, just just missing. That thing did everything except go in. It'll be a par three. One all left for his season. Keelan now trying to get to double figures under par. One coming down the slope, tracking beautifully. Oh, how did that not go in? That's unlucky. Ready now, up the slope, going the one end. But uh, that one sneaks in lovely. What a fantastic birdie. Armand Lopes are getting ready with his approach to the 17th. One under for today. Would like a strong finish. He seems to have left that out to the right. Oh, caught the card path. Couple of bounces. Stay up. Stay up. Unfortunately, that's bounced into the penalty area. That's going to be a costly mistake with a short iron in your hand. Right now, having just missed the green left, the delicate little chip for Eagle. Need nice soft hands. 
14, that one not bouncing too nicely. Coming a little short. Still have a makeable birdie opportunity though. Jason Froneman, three under for his round today. Very steady contender on the IGT to a solid golfer. Very compact swing. Safely on. But with a lengthy birdie putt. Keaton Slatter, level par for today. More than likely taking dead aim. Would love to finish with a birdie or two. Hitting a high draw. Just a little bit left of the flag. Not a bad shot at all. We'll have a birdie opportunity. Bradley after that nice birdie at 10. We'll be wanting to hit this close here on the sh part 3 11th. Trying to draw that one back to the flag. Left it out a bit right. In the waste bunker. Won't be too difficult to chip from there. But we'll be disappointed on missing the green. Carl now needs to make something happen. Currently three behind Bradley. Only eight holes left to play. He'd love to knock this close. Safely on the dance floor. Long birdie putt. Bradley now with his bunker shot. Unfortunately, seems to have caught that a bit thin. Did it put a bit of the greenkeeper's rubble or ground under repair? He'll get relief from that. He's left himself a tricky chip over the bunker with not much green to work with. Seems to have popped that in the bunker. And no green left to work with. Unraveling a bit on this hole. Well, now, trying to get this one as close as possible. Coming up a little bit short. Bradley now with his fourth on the greenside bunker. Trying to limit the damage on this short par three. Oh, that one pulling up very quickly. Quite a bit of work left. For his double bogey. Keelan. Trying to save par. A little bit too steamy on that line. Which unfortunately, they're going to lead to a bogey. Bradley now trying not to drop too many shots. This one just on the low side. Unfortunately, that's a triple bogey six. Now tied for the lead with Carl McClatchy. This game can be cruel at times. Three shot lead gone in one hole. Very unfortunate. Jason with his long birdie attempt. And that's sacking so nicely. Oh, just ran out of pace at the last minute. Herman now for par. Oh, and look, he lipped out for him to have got there after being in the penalty area. That would have been a great bar. Unfortunately, in the day, it's a bogey. We've reached the 13th hole. Keelan using the left-hand side of the tee box to open up the dog leg a bit for himself. Not too happy with that. He's left that out to the right. Might have caught the fairway bunker. Ryan Tipping now, long time campaigner, nice young age of 40, still keeping up with the young guys. This is T shot here at 17. And that's a lovely shot. Good opportunity to go two under for the day and eight under for the tournament.
kill him. Haven't found the fairway bunker of the T13. We need to clip this very cleanly. Seems to have caught that decently. Lovely shot. Up your birdie attempt coming up. Ricky Endler, young man with a lot of potential, left hand. Was it very strong? It's a ball far. 300 for today. Solid season for him as his first year playing full time as a professional golfer. Gillen can have a run at this one. I'd love to get back to minus 10. Oh, it just caught a little bit of the top side of the hole. On those days when they just don't seem to want to drop. Still, as always, playing solid golf. Vaughn van Deverter, unfortunately, not having the best of days. A couple of shots over par, but he'll be back to fight another day. And we expect good things from him next season. On the IGT tour. Just leaving that one up a little on the hill. Tricky little chip coming up. Carl with a two shot lead now. Electing to take an iron off the tee on his long par five. His game plan more than likely to make it a three shot. To the green. Keelan, still a few behind the leader. Needs something to happen, taking the driver. Seem to catch it a bit high on the club. But yet, he's got it out there in the center of the fairway. Might be tempted to go for two. Bradley having lost his three shot lead, now two behind. We'll have to go with the big stick. He's left that one a little bit out to the right. He won't be able to go for two from there. This is Vaughan van Deventer. Vaughan with a delicate little chip. Making sure he's keeping those hands way ahead of the club face. Nicely done. Very well played from there. Just an indication how cool this game can be. Born from Devita, unfortunately, making it 10 on the par 5 15th. Bradley trying to lay this up into a good position. To give him a chance to attack the pin for his third on this par 5. Perfectly placed. But well, back at the 17th, Ricky after that nice tee shot with his opportunity had a birdie. Fortunately missing that on the high side. Nothing wrong with the pace, just didn't get the line right. Take a quick look at his scorecard. You notice he two eagles today. This young man is very powerful, it's a ball a long way. Carl with his sticking to his game plan here on the 15th. Having taken iron off the tee, laid up short of the water with his third with a wedge. Just behind the flag. We'll have a good birdie opportunity. Right now. We'll see you at 17 for his birdie. That one sliding past. Not seeming to read in the lines too well today. But still, very well played. Keelan after going for this green in two, unfortunately end up but long, long chip, or taking the slope, he judged that quite exquisitely, giving himself a great opportunity for a birdie. Tell him now, love to knock this one close. Watching it intently. 
Oh, and he almost held it on the fly. What a shot. Almost an ace. Carl now trying to move to 15 under. Closing this one on down there. Unfortunately, just ran out of pace. We we'll tap that in for a par. These are one of the par fives when you're not too disappointed with the par. Dylan, after that great tee shot that he almost held for his birdie, well deserved into double figures once again. Keelan now with a little left to right, but after that great chip from over the green, well old. Very happy with that. Christian now, his final hole of the tournament. Currently one behind second place, three behind the leader. Birdie here, standing in good stead. Seems to have lost that a little bit to the right. Good card path. Yeah, I have less than 100 in on this final hole. Keelan now on this part three. Taking dead aim. Coming in nice and high. Leaving himself a couple of feet below the hole. Should be an easy birdie for him. Christian, even though he's missed the fairway right, he's left himself a good angle to attack this flag. Eddie watching closely. Nicely on the green. Opportunity for birdie. After that great tee shot, Keelan opening to knock this one in. Solid two. Very happy with that. Even his caddy Nelson liked it. Carl now in his final hole. Two shot lead. Have to take the three wood. What a bit close off the tee. Water left. The tee chick bunk is right. Put it in the fairway. The man is stuck to his game plan the whole day. Christian now. Important birdie putt this. Well old. That would uh, give him third place in the tournament. Good three days for the young man. Herat now trying to clean up for his bar. Minus 10. Tight fifth for the tournament. Can't be too disappointed about that. You can see even though they play against one another, the players showing a lot of camaraderie. Bradley, after leading most of the day, needs to knock this one close. In actual fact, catch Carl, he's got to hold this. Taking his time, more than likely taking dead aim. Fortunately, a little bit strong, but you could see the intent was there. Carl now on the 18th of his early putt. Just wants to cozy this up there with a two shot lead. Oh, and he's judged that perfectly. Right and you tap oh. that in. For a five under 67. Final round. Champion finishing 1400 with rounds of 67, 65, 67. And that sigh of relief. All the hard work and concentration has paid off. Bradley with his early putt. Fortunately, that triple bogey. And the 11th putting paid to his chances of winning, but 
second place, 13 under. Still a very good 69. So Carl finishing on top of the leaderboard with a solid 467 today. Uh, Jonathan Washerford, Christian Burke also with 67s. And Ryan not blow as well, but two outstanding players today. Ryan from Felsen and Slate Pickering coming with six under 65s, waltzing their way up the leaderboard today. Solid golf. Well done to the beautiful Centurion Country Club for setting up a lovely course for these people. Competing an IGT tour for what they do for these young players. Our champion today and overall IGT Big Easy Tour winner, Carl McClatchy. And let's hear from the champion. Today I've achieved one or two of those goals that I really wanted to so it means the world to me it means that all my hard work's paid off um, over the course of the last kind of year and a half after lockdown I've really improved my attitude a lot like it's been probably the biggest thing that that's changed in my life and not just on the course off the course um, I'm a much better person and I can only lockdown <laughs> gifted me that and I've learned a lot about myself and how I need to behave and how I need to think and yeah that's the biggest change that I've had and it's I'm eternally grateful for that opportunity to do that. It means that I get to go play on the Sunshine Tour next year, which is which is great. I've been there before and uh, I've learned a lot in the time that I haven't been there. But yeah, I just want to try and keep doing the same things I've done this year and this week and just kind of see where I can go and take it one step, of a, one step at a time and, and see, how, see how far I can get.